Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel where every day is range day. Today, I'm gonna to be going over the long-term review of this three carry position holster that was sent to us by Craft Holsters about two years ago. So, let's get into it. Before we get any further into the video, since this holster was made for my P226, and I have it here for demonstration purposes, this firearm is clear and cold. So right off the bat, for transparency, this was sent to us by Craft Holsters. If you ever have trouble finding a holster for your particular firearm, say you wanna carry something really out there that there aren't a whole lot of holsters made for, well, chances are Craft Holsters is gonna find it, and they are very, very good at making sure that there's a holster for your particular firearm. That's one thing that we have found, and a lot of the people who have been commenting on our videos have been saying that the reason they found Craft Holsters is they had a holster for their firearm that was a little obscure, like a Makarov or something like that. They reached out to us and asked if we were interested in reviewing some of their holsters and we were happy to do so, seeing that they had a good reputation in the industry. After looking through, I decided to go with this three carry position leather holster in mahogany for my SIG P226. This also had a feature on it that I was a little interested in and I wanted to test out the practicality of it and that was a a way of carrying it horizontal on the small of your back. So going over just some of the key features of this three carry position holster by Craft Holsters, it is 100% real leather. Keep that in mind if you're getting muddy and wet in your job or if you decide to carry it on duty. It's not like plastic or Kydex. You will have to take care of your holster. It is well made, double stitched stitched with leather thread here. On the back, it has the three different style of slots for your holster. If you wanna carry it vertical, you can. If you wanna carry it canted, you can. And finally, if you wanna carry it horizontal, you can. It has a snap button here at the top of the hammer that is really easy to disengage and engage again if you need to. And that can be done with the hammer all the way down or if you have the hammer back, it will engage as well. Good retention, I have not had any problem with the retention. In fact, the retention on the firearm when I first got this holster was pretty fierce. I had to loosen it up. There's a screw set here at the bottom of the holster that allows you to adjust the retention. I had to back that baby all the way out because the holster was fitting the firearm really well and in fact anytime I try to draw it felt like I was jerking my belt all the way off my pants so after some time though I have had this for two years and I've been rotating it in and out of concealed carry and getting some time with it on the range it has loosened up if that's something that you don't want to take the time to go ahead and break it down on the range they do make some leather conditioning kits on their website and Chandler got a holster from them and did the same thing Went ahead and got one of those kits, put it on his holster, and overnight it fixed all of his retention issues, and you can check out that on his video. Same with the retention on the firearm itself. The webbing on the back was a little tough at first to go in and out of different style belts. It does accommodate 1.75 inch belts and one and a half inch belts, so you can pretty much throw this on whatever belt you have. So those are just some of the key features of this holster. And I'll just give you some of my overall takeaway points of this. We can get into the nitty and gritty if you like, but however, I don't think you guys are here for a thesis. You're here to see if this holster is good or not. This holster is a great holster. Keep in mind it is leather and typically not what I would carry and it definitely seems that the market and the carry culture is moving away from leather holsters. While Kydex has some better features, it has a little bit more lifetime on it, and it requires less maintenance, this leather holster has not disappointed me. It has been holding up well, especially with some of these scratches. It's a tough, well-made holster. The biggest problem I had with it was retention right out of the box, which I've corrected with just some I'm on the range. I haven't carried this nearly as much as some of my other firearms, some of my other holsters, because it's just really heavy. And styles of carrying, I've decided to carry it vertical or with a slight cant. 
immediately when I tested out the horizontal carry, there were some red flags on carrying it in this position. Right away, when we decided to test it out in the range, we used one of the drones to follow us and film us because we did not feel safe drawing from the six o'clock with this horizontal carry. You had to be very careful about muzzle control because it's a very awkward situation to reach behind you and pull the gun out and kind of chicken wing yourself to where you can bring it around and then use it. Some people in the comment section on our first impression videos pointed out some people who have way more experience in training than us, including real world experience, is that if you carry a firearm on the rear of your back and you fall on it, it's more likely to cause some damage to you as opposed to if it's on your side or on your front. If you fall, your spine's a little bit of a tough area to work through if you hurt it in the field. And that's why I ended up carrying this in a vertical or a cant position, usually on the three or four o'clock because it was the safest, the quickest to draw, and it was still a little concealable, especially of this size of a firearm with a pullover. Probably the coolest thing about it is it is just a sharp looking holster. Anytime we were on the range and I got this holster out to get some training with it, there was usually someone says, man, that's a good looking holster. And it is. There is just something about a classic leather holster that you can't ignore. And if you're looking for a leather holster, I would highly consider checking out Craft Holsters and going for this style of holster. This was one of their most popular ones on their website, but they have several that you can look through. Anything made by Vega is good. It is 100% Italian leather and it has held up to the time on the range and from my concealed carrying with this. So that's gonna be it for the video today. If you have any questions, please leave those down in the comment section below and we will get back to you. If you like this video, leave us a thumbs up and if you wanna see more of the videos on our channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and select the bell icon that works best for you. Thanks again to Craft Holsters for sending us this holster for review. They are some good guys, some good people over there, so if you want a holster, go check them out. Once again, this has been Mac with Range Day, where every day is Range Day. Thanks for watching. You start at 40, you shoot a certain amount of rounds, and then you run up to 20, shoot the same amount, and then run up to 10, shoot the same amount. I forget, there's par times with it, I forget what it is. To start, I wasn't paying attention, so. <laughs>